I learned about Miss Fluffy Ruffles many years ago when I was an employee here at the Historical Museum. She was rather an entity uh, in my mind, rather than a real person. Let me tell you about how Fluffy Ruffles came to our attention here. I heard about Fluffy Ruffles from an elderly lady, and she said, well, there was a madam in town, and her name was Fluffy Ruffles, and she was a disgrace to this community. I go, oh, I gotta find out about this woman. So I called the police department. I wanted all the records from the early 1900s relative to uh, arrests. And they, I mean, they thought I was crazy. Fluffy Ruffles was a comic book character from the early 1900s, very popular. Even Macy's and company uh, developed a line of clothing that personified uh, this individual. Kind of this fluffily, ruffly type of dresses uh, that I guess sold quite well. The clothing was just lovely and fashionable and high-end and I'm sure people who wanted to uh, personify the image of Fluffy Ruffles bought, bought the clothing. I think she gave them a, an image they could imitate to move into a more modern way of living. Well, Fluffy Ruffles would often be a woman about town. Certainly she met um, many folks off the train and escorted them around town. For example, a baseball team. And I thought that was uh, quite fascinating because who would have the nerve at that time to do that except Fluffy Ruffles? Think about the Roaring Twenties and what happened to women's roles and women's costumes and, and uh, how Fluffy Ruffles may have opened some doors for uh, change of costume, change of idea, and the roles of, of women in the home and in, in the community. But that's how it came about. You know, somebody, some little old lady said, you know, there was a man of intent. <laughs> You didn't hear this from me, but there was a madam in town. 